Hey, how's it going everybody? So in today's video, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to enable BitLocker and also how to set up a pin with your BitLocker um, profile. Now, there's two things that you will need. The first thing is you're going to need um, the correct operating system. So if you have Windows uh, 10 Home, that will not work. You will need to have Windows uh, 10 Pro or higher for this to actually work. Now, the other thing that you're also going to need is you're going to, or your computer is going to need, is um, it's going to need a TPM chip, which that is a trusted platform module. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to ver verify if you have uh, this chip. So if you go to start, and you type in, I just do bit. So you go into manage BitLocker, hit enter. And you do see that you have this TPM administration. Click on that. And under status, um, it should say the TPM is ready for use. So that's how you verify if you, your workstation does have a TPM chip. So uh, now that we got that out of the way, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so the first thing that we're going to have to do is we're going to go to start and we're going to type in GP edit, hit enter. So here we are. So we're actually going to go under computer configuration, administrative templates, go here. And we're going to go into Windows components. And we're going to go ahead and select the BitLocker drive encryption. Now the first thing I want to do is I'm going to go to the operating system drives and I'm going to go into this option, the required additional authentication at startup, right click, hit edit. Once we're here, we're going to go right ahead and enable this. And uh, what this is going to do, it's basically going to go right ahead and let us set up a pin as soon as BitLocker starts. So uh, here on the configuration settings, I'm just going to leave everything as default. We're going to hit apply. OK. And we're going to go back to BitLocker drive encryption. And we are going to select choose drive encryption method and cipher strength Windows 10 version 1511 or later. So we're going to right click edit. Here we're going to grab it hit enable. Now by default you do see that it's uh, set up to XTS-AES 128-bit encryption but I don't want to go ahead and leave it at 128. I want to go ahead and set it to 256-bit. So let's go ahead and change this one to XTS-AES uh, 256. I'm going to do the exact same thing for this one. And this one, instead of setting it up to uh, the AES CBC uh, 128, I'm just going to do the AES CBC 256. Now, I, I just basically went a little bit too fast for this, so let me just go ahead. You know, uh, the first option is select the encryption method for for operating system drives, which is basically the first option. Uh, select the, the encryption method for fixed data drives, which would be the second option, and the select encryption method for removable data drives. Once we have that squared away, we're going to go ahead and hit apply, hit OK, and we're going to go ahead and close this out. We're going to go back to start. We're going to type in, I just, I just type in bit, so it, you, you have to go into the manage bit locker, hit enter. Here, we're going to go ahead and turn it on. So let's go ahead and turn this bad boy on. And as you can see, the options, we do have enter a pin recommended. Basically, that's what we're going to do. Insert a USB flash drive and uh, let BitLocker automatically unlock my drive. So like I said, we're going to go ahead and enter a pin. Let's select that. So um, enter a pin, choose a pin that's 6 to 20 num uh, numbers long. So let's go ahead. I'll do six. Okay. And set pin. Here, uh, how do you want to back up your recovery key? So here, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, save the file. But of course, you can save to your Microsoft account or print the recovery key. So save to a file. Now, 
I'm going to go right ahead and select a USB flash drive that I have on this workstation. So I'm going to go ahead and save that there. Now, uh, just FYI, I would strongly recommend you keep this uh, recovery key either on an encrypted drive or you basically WinZip it and you password protect it because if by any chance anybody or you know or an individual grabs this recovery key, they're just able to type in the recovery key and just bypass your PIN so they'll be able to get into your workstation. So just FYI. So here we're going to hit next. Uh, choose how much of your drive to encrypt. Uh, so the first option is uh, Encrypt used uh, disk space only, fast and best for new PCs and drives. And the second option is going to be encrypt entire drive, slow but best for PCs and drives already in use. So for this video, I'm just going to select the very first one, just basically the use space, but it's up to you. If, uh, at the end, if you want to basically go right ahead and encrypt the entire drive, please go right ahead. So we're going to hit next. Here, I am not going to run uh, the BitLocker system check because I already know that everything is squared away. So let's go ahead and start encrypting. All right, so this will take a while. So I'm just going to go ahead and let this do its thing. And uh, we'll see you in a little bit. All right. So encryption of C is complete. So I'm going to go ahead and click close. So BitLocker is on. Cool deal. All right. Well, um, one of the things that I want to go ahead and check just to verify that everything is configured is I actually want to verify that the 256-bit encryption is, uh, is set. So we're going to go to start, and we're going to type in CMD. I'm going to right-click, run as administrator. Yes. So here we're going to do manage or manage dash BDE dash status. So there we go. So we do see volume C, OS volume, we see the size, bit locker version, uh, conversion status, use space only encrypted. So it's uh, percentage 100% encrypted. And of course, here we go. Encryption method XTS dash AES 256 bit encryption. So bam, we are squared away. So after you reboot, you will see a screen to actually prompt you to go ahead and enter your pin. Okay, so this is basically what you will see once uh, the computer reboots. So it's going to ask you to enter the pin to unlock this device. I'm going to go ahead and type in the pin, hit enter, and there we go. As you can see, we're getting into Windows. So yeah, so there we go. So uh, I really do hope you enjoyed this video. And like always, we'll catch you on the next one.